So I just showed you guys how to properly rig a jig and a float for steelhead fishing. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly where to cast this jig and exactly how to fish it so that you can maximize your chances to catch a steelhead. It's fresh and fresh. Let's go. We get out of bed, we go cast that, we take a breath. We say, okay, let's get this thing started. started. We grab our rod, we grab our bed, we get in a car. I'm so excited, I know you are. We make a cast, we set the hook and we let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be lit, just stick around and you will know. Yeah, know. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. So I want you guys to examine this little stretch of river with me. And I've actually waded this many times so I know exactly how deep it is. And over there, we have really fast rapids and actually really deep water. So that's like six feet of water right there in that little, in this little area that you see right here. And as we come down, it gets very, very shallow. At those ripples that you see right there, it's like a foot, maybe a foot and a half. And then as it comes down here, it comes to about three to four feet. And three to four feet, and then right there, right there, there's a really deep hole. It's like about eight feet, really deep hole. So we have a very versatile piece of water right here. And exactly when we want to cast these jigs, that way you can actually catch those fish and it doesn't just zoom past them in that fast current that we see right there. So, as we're standing right here, we have our rod, have everything, and um, where we need to cast, we need to cast somewhere that's not very fast, that just doesn't swoop all the way down the river. We need to cast somewhere which is really the, the, the speed of the actual river. So just the average speed of the river. And for us, that's gonna be right down the middle, right there. So you see how there's rapids right there? There's a little sweet spot right here that you want to cast in, and it'll take you a good 10 seconds to drift all the way from here to here, and that's perfect time for a fish to come up and bite it. And as far as depth for our bobber, we have our bobber at around five feet, and in that little hot spot right there, it's about six feet deep. So that is gonna be perfect for us. So as far as casting and handling the jig, let's just give it a little cast right there in that sweet spot. As you can see, it's a nice drift. Now a common mistake is you see me, I'm not reeling anything right now. And this is a super common mistake. People fall asleep behind the wheel. And look, if my bobber went down right now and I set the hook, nothing happens, nothing happens. So you have to reel it up like this. And I'm gonna give you guys another cast to show you exactly what you need to do. So we're gonna give it a little toss into the sweet spot. After that, we'll make sure we see our line. And this is why having braided is so important because you can actually see it on the surface of the water. And make sure you lift up your line every little bit. That way you can actually see that way it actually stays in, because what happens is the braid actually beats the, the bobber because of the surface of the water. And I'll show you guys again. So we put it like that, and we just reel in our line slowly, making sure that we're on pace with the actual flow. And I'm gonna show you guys in the next cast something that's super crucial so that you get a really good hook set on that fish. Here we go, back in the sweet spot. And over time, guys, your casting will become way better. You could literally aim it onto a target. And what we need to do, you see how this, we have to catch up our line. And every little bit, we have to lift up our line and bring it back down. I'm not sure if you guys can see the line, but the line is beating it. So we have to lift it up, come back down. Right back in the sweet spot. Same spot every time. And we just let it go like that. And we're slowly reeling and slowly lifting up our line making sure that it's in the same pace as the actual float. There you go, see how it's in front of it? There you go, and the line's gonna get in front of it again, lift it up, bring it down, and there you go. That way, at any point in time, you can go like this and you could set the hook. So I think I sent you guys in the right direction for fishing for steelhead 101 with a jig and a float. And uh, hopefully you guys benefit from this video. Maybe you learned a thing or two that you didn't know before. Or maybe you just got a little refresher of the knowledge that you already knew. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below and like the video and comment what you felt about the video. If you thought the, if you thought the video was terrible, let me know. If you thought the video was helpful, let me know. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day out there. Stay fresh, and we'll see you on the next one. Pull up to like it's fire more than you know. More than you know. We say okay this time, let's give a show. Give a show. But you gotta hit that bell right down below. So don't miss out and tell me you don't know. Don't know that it's fresher than fresh, even when the day is done. It's fresher than fresh because the day was fun. Ooh.